can the way that forensics tests are performed affect the results? Absolutely, Erica. What you mentioned earlier is absolutely true in regards to the vast majority of the public thinking that lab technicians and quote unquote forensic scientists are at, at some equal playing field with academic scientists um, and private industry scientists. The reality is that many of these labs, these state and federal labs, don't adhere to uh, proper scientific standards. The training that the lab technicians goes through are different. The techniques that these individual labs are often proprietary, meaning only these state labs perform the testing techniques the way that that individual lab performs the testing techniques. They don't share data with one another the way an academic lab or a professional lab share data with one another. So their testing results often can't be verified um, across a wide cross section. Um, you're, you're getting uh, what often people refer to as a feedback loop, a positive feedback loop where they, they perform a test the test comes out the way that they expect it to, uh, but nobody's in there saying, hey, um, there was an error in this testing process. So that, that lack of peer review, outside peer review, um, can often create very inappropriate results and inaccurate results. Um, you know, in reality, forensic testing should be done no differently than academic testing. It's gotta be performed meticulously. You have to keep detailed records. Your results have to be repeatable um, and you should have peer review and constant variable compliance checks to make sure that the standards of these tests are met. And those are some you know, very high level ways that uh, these tests can go wrong and end up in wrongful convictions, Erica.